Alrighty, what is up everyone? Let's get right in this deck building portion of this video. Let's talk about some Grok decks. So, the thing is, with Spirit's Domain's buff, it really puts him in a viability when it comes to healing numbers. Now, again, practically, Grok is kind of okay because he uses auto attacks to heal, and that has many issues. But after playing him a little bit, I can see a lot of benefits to him. So let's talk about the build we're going to be running and why we're going to be running it. We're not going to be building it. It is right here. This is it. Electrostatic 4. Our auto attack uh, energy re basically re regenerates 50% faster. We increased our ammo count by 40%. We have a little bit of base health. It's always nice. But we're running Gale 5. Gale 5, I've been okay about so far. But it's it it's good, right? But the issues I see, it's kind of a weird issue. It's not, it's it's a practicality issue. When you're using Gale 5, you're not gonna have your ghost walk for important moments to get out of alts, to save yourself. I I think I've died more on Grok than I have on other supports overall so far in the PTS because of this. But I think the Gale is super important to this deck. I wouldn't take it out. You just need to learn how to play around it. Sometimes you just don't have to ghost walk. Sometimes you save your ghost walk, wait your totem, cool down out, and you're good. But Astral Traveler, it's a pretty good one point. I, I've always been, been I, I need to do some testing. If 25% or 0.3 seconds gets you further. That's one thing I want to test with these two. I haven't yet, but I'm going to get into that. If you want to test your own and tell me, you know, what it is, let me know. Uh, you can do it for your own deck. But this is the build. There's also a build I do want to try here. I didn't run it this game, but I want to run it by everyone. I talk about it in the game that it's something I want to test. I want to try running this for self-sustain for Grok. Um, he's going to be putting his totem sometimes further away from him. He's going to be low. He has no self-sustain. I think that's his only self-sustain card, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it is. It is his only self-sustain card. So something like this could work. Uh, we still run Gale, but we run something like this. We run, uh, sorry, not that. We're looking at auto attacks. It's so weird not running the totemic ward items. We'd run something like this. Uh, what was our final card? Uh, I think we'd rather run base health. This, this is what I'd want to try. 90 health. I think it bounces six times. Um, I'm not, I, I'm pretty sure. I should know these things. I think it's six times base. Yeah. It's six. I, I believe it's five. It's four, five, or six. I think it's five or six. But you, it's six times, you know, we have 500 health. You get 500 health. That That's going to help you in a lot of situations, especially if you're spamming your right click off cooldown. This is something I want to test, and my next Grok commentary in the PTS, I'll be doing multiple commentaries on these new supports. We'll be testing new things, we'll be trying everything. Usually we'll take a build and try it twice, two different games, and then we'll try something else, and then we'll try something else, you know? So that's what my plan is for the next, like, week or two. So be on the lookout for that. But this is the test build I want to do for the next video, I think. And this is the build I have for this video. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to build, what you're going to build. Uh, besides that, let's get right into this commentary. What is up, everyone? Let's get right into this game. We are playing some new Spirits Domain Grok today. Here's the build. As you saw, you saw it before this game. So I explained the build there, but this is the build, of course, running. So let's go into this. New Grok is so much fun. And running unrestricted item shop, then making that change was huge for all supports. And I'll explain that as the game goes, but it is so nice. As supports, you're a lot more flexible now to do anything you want. But somebody like Grok, he already has a lot of alt charge. So I'm thinking the best play on Grok, as you can see this game actually, the speeder. The speeder uh, is something else. It's interesting. It's it's a little buggy, but it's all right, you know? Um, but you can go something like Chronos 2 and a Mrabus on, uh, on Grok. And that's like my favorite thing to do right now, to be honest. All right, we see Jorgos over there. We're gonna back up a little bit, use our range. We already got the totem down. Keep everybody healed up. Make sure Grover stays alive. Move Tyra, or not. Oh. We didn't use our reset. We should be okay. I didn't want to have to ghost walk on purpose. Let's ghost walk now, because we know we're gonna need the extra healing soon. Got to keep everybody topped off. Got the totem on both of them. Hopefully Ash can stay in it. We can heal up the uh, Terminus. Nice, that's perfect. Help our Grover a little bit. Oh no, Terminus, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. No! We are so close to heal saving. Ash, I got you, buddy. So Grok, Grok is a, he's a really good healer. Like, we are able to just stay alive and pocket both of our tanks there. We lost that point, but we weren't able to actually like do anything. We kind of just like sat in the front. They were just able to do a lot of free damage. We did like no damage though. Ah! 
Tyra is not the best to go with the double support comp right now. She just doesn't do enough damage, to be honest. Keep helping that term. Let's go ahead and get that totem up there on Ash. I know she's going to need it. Alright, so Terminus is up there. Ash is going up to meet them, which is cool. Um, let's go ahead and go to this Terminus. Let's hold up main. Let's put, let's put the totem on him. Oh, I wonder if we can get to this Ash. Uh, she wasn't able to ult. Unlucky. I'm trying to get some good bounces there. Oh, that's fine. This is a wipe. That is no biggie, to be honest. We'll take that. They used, I mean, they two, they used two ults to break that choke point, so that's no biggie. I mean, that was a really good ult by that Saris, though. Nice job. That was a good combo. When they use two alts like that, it's really good. Like, we didn't use one alt. We still have Ash ult, so we're going to be able to do something here really quick. Drag Rover stays alive. He'll be fine. Where did our Ash go? There she is. Top off term. Just barely missed that right click. I might look to alt pretty soon. Kind of, like, force us out. We are stunned. Let's go and alt now. Oh, my God. Terminus just got one shot. I'm honestly not sure how that happened. Get that totem down on ourselves. Somebody else needs it, they can come to me. Nice. Hopefully we can do oh we're we're hoping to kill that Saris. Reset totem real quick. Need to pocket this terminus super hard. Gotta get him out of there. He got poppied. Oh my goodness, we are so low. Wait, where do those rockets come from? Where is he shooting me from? I didn't even see these rockets. Huh. I didn't see a single one of those rockets. I think that's that's why that that specifically right there is why the uh, in competitive that rocket on Drogos is banned because you cannot see the rockets on him. So that's kind of like kind of sucks. We were able to dodge him because I couldn't see him. That's right though. Our biggest our biggest problem here with this comp is we have two tanks, two supports, and a Tyra. Tyra is not going to be able to solo carry us. Um, if we had something like Lian, Cassie. A bomb king a drogos anything else i think this game would be a lot easier but since we do have the tyra it's gonna make it a lot harder to be honest um especially with their comp they have a solo tank but it's still we just don't have the damage if we had a better if we had a better dps carry i think it would be a lot easier but like you see we went morale boost here we're trying to snowball like we're trying to bring this back in our favor so there's really no reason to save for chronos 2. might as well buy morale boost might as well get our alt as soon as we can as many alts as we can Let's see if we can get that bounce. Make sure we're not getting flanked. There's the Drogos over there. Terminus flanking as well. Tyra's fine. Let's ghost walk that. Oh my goodness. Our two tanks are kind of away from us right now. Nice. Let's see if we can bait them on us. Lol. Hold on, I got to emote rock monkey. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That was totally necessary and totally needed. Nice big bounce there. Since the Terminus does have the cooldown on his Siphon now. Oh my goodness, we could not save that Tyra. Can we save Terminash? Hopefully we can at least zone them off and slow them. Nice, we did. Maybe we can cap? Oh. Okay, hold on. DK made it on. Oh my goodness. What? How did that hit me? Did it hit the totem and bounce? Let's see. I want to see this. No. See, that's that's the thing. Like Those those rockets are so hard to see. It didn't even look like it hit me. Oh no. There's the Sarasol. There it is. That sucks. So close. Oh, I, can't, I cannot get that Terminus out of here. Oh, I'm stuck in the corner. Ow. What was that? I think I just need to die. I don't think I'll get Ash here in time. Yeah, I should have just died. Let's see. Oh, did that Ash dismount herself? Mm, I don't like that. I think if Ash would have stayed on her mount and kept mounting to me and gave me a shield or something, we would have stayed alive there. I knew I wasn't going to be able to save that tire with healing because uh, Drogos had caught three, or at least caught two. So it would have been too hard to keep, yeah, caught two. 
too hard to keep her alive, so I figured I had to finish the Drogos to try to keep her alive. Seek for Fragdoceris, nice. She's running like Veil 7, oh my goodness. Yeah, Veil 5. That is so unnecessary in Ceres. That's one note. I sense your presence. Is that uh, when you run Veil, there's like you really don't need it higher than say like 3 or 4. Like 3. You don't need it higher than 3. It's kind of overkill if you have it higher. It's super overkill if you have it higher. Oh my goodness. Our team is getting unhealthy here. I think we'll be okay. We've been sitting one shot the whole time. We put our totem up with our team. We knew they didn't really have an angle on us. They had two dead, so we'd be fine. Let's see if we can get a balance. Nope. That's the thing on the new Grok, like, on Spirit's Domain, is I'm bad about managing just, like, throwing my right click sometimes. Sometimes just legitimately forget to throw it. Just that extra poke damage just sometimes helps. Nice. We pop both support alts. That's okay. We're kind of in a terrible spot here. We know the Drogos was flanking us. Our totem died really fast there. Oh, Leanne's flanking as well. Come back and get this totem on herself. See if we can save Terminus. We did a lot of damage there. Oh, the stuns! Got the totem back left. Hopefully Terminus comes back towards it. Nice, we were just barely able to get out of that. I don't think we can save our Ash. Maybe. We lost Grover though. That is no good. Let's see if we can get this reset. We need to get Ash up as soon as possible. I've told him in one, so I should be okay. Nice, our Terminus needed ult there. Nice, Grover finished that. Let's get the big healing on point. Hopefully we can save Terminus. Yeah, Terminus is fine. I was hoping we could time that. Uh, let's go Kronos 2 into Morale Boost 2. I'm hoping on this point that we can get a second ult. We're going to ult pretty early to try to counter ult. And then we're going to ult later on in the point. Hopefully we have enough. Um, biggest biggest thing, I'm just not right clicking enough. So I'm not getting enough ult charge. As much ult charge as I want to. But it's really not that big of a deal. Um, we're still doing pretty well here. Um, I'm not able to commentate as much when I'm playing Grok. Cause it's, it, I mean, I think Grok takes a lot of focus whenever you're tracking and healing, but the healing is so good. So learning, knowing how to play it, I can't believe they didn't fix that AOE radius. That's so sad. It should, like, if they're going to put it into his base kit, it should scale. Like, it should be base. And it should scale Verdant Expanse. That's probably the issue, is making it scale with Verdant. Um, so we're trying to save our, okay, Drogos is flanking. We're trying to save our Ghost Walk for Saras Alt, to be honest. Or trying to save our alt in general. I think we're losing a few more people than we wanted to here. No Drogos on the flank. See if we can save Tyra. Ash is up there. Oh, we're getting as much healing as we can. There's the Drogos. Why did my ghost walk? Oh my god, it didn't go off. I pressed my button. No. I, I was expecting it to go off right there and it didn't. I would have reset my heal cooldown and I would have got around the corner. That Oh, that kind of sucks. I don't know why it didn't go off. I think I pressed like the bottom of my button. Oh, that is so weird. I thought I pressed it though. Kind of sucks. So I was timing it perfectly. I knew I was going to have it. I knew it'd be okay. Oh my God, BK is feeding. Hello. Or he was knocked in. I was not able to save that Ash. Ash might have dashed a little bit too early. Get that over here. Kill that Leanne. At least we towed him on point first. Ash is going to die. Let's see if we can track out this Drogos. Oh no, the BK's there! Oh, we have just enough healing to survive through it. Nice. You got to focus a lot on us. We still have two up. We need to kill that BK first. Ash, you have to touch. We have Terminus there soon. Oh no, I think that's GG. GG is... I mean, we just had an issue that game. Our comp was just not good. Um, we had no damage. There's no way to finish those kills. Terminus and Ash don't, don't do any damage. And then Tyra just doesn't do enough damage either.
Uh, they have three DPS, so if, say we had a good DPS, I think that would have been a lot better. Because we had more than enough sustain, right? But you, like, the problem, the big thing is with double support, double tank, is you have to, you have to have a good DPS with that comp. Or else it's just not worth it. It just is not worth it, to be honest, like running that comp without a good DPS. But GG's. Um, our healing was all right. Um, we did a decent amount of damage. I think our healing was skewed a little bit because we had a Grover too. If we were solo healing, that would have been a lot better. But that's all right. It's no biggie. Um, we did 39k damage. Yeah, see, like, I uh, heal damage the Terminus. We had one tank that didn't do that much damage because of the champion. I think Tyra did a good amount of damage, but she's not able to carry like other DPS are. Tyra can do a lot of damage. Okay, I should have restate that. Tyra can do a lot of damage, but she can't carry a game. Uh, there's a big difference there. Doing damage and carrying is a huge thing. Tyra can't finish kills that well. She can't dive in and finish a kill like a Leanna, a BK, a Cassie can, a Drogos can. So that was like probably our biggest issue. We just didn't have that carry. We only had Tyra. There's that was kind of like that was kind of a loss from the start. There's really no way around that. Like double support is good, double tank is good, but it has to be done right. But GG's, let's go ahead and move on to the second game. Alrighty, what is up? Let's get into the second game. Uh -huh. Same map, same champion, same legendary, same everything. So let's do it. Spirits domain, same build. Um, so we're against the Terminus, Maeve, Imani, Saris, and BK. Uh, Saris is running Soul Collector. That's good to know. Um, last game, like I said, our biggest issue was um, our DPS pick. But besides that, it was a good game. Uh, I was able to show off Kronos Morale Boost a little bit, but it wasn't as effective because we were getting snowballed. Like, Morale Boost is good and it helps. We just weren't able to get enough done, especially when we have a second support on our team. It just doesn't get too much value. Because I wasn't able to do, do that, like, really big healing numbers that Grok can do right now. Because Grok can really output some healing when it comes down to it. Can we hit this dismount? Okay, so we gotta, we gotta aim up a little bit further. But that's, that's like, really close to do. Alright, we see BK flanking. Let's get this over here. Alright, let's go ahead and try to zone him off a little bit. Turn back. Dredge, peek me, please. Dredge, 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 dredge. Oh, see. Ah! Our dredge, our dredge pulled my attention too too long. We lost our terminus because of it. Dredge kind of like hid behind that rock. If you're playing a DPS and you're low, don't. Oh, we have a bottom money. That's ah, uh, that sucks. That's gonna make this game so much harder. Our team is just stuck in spawn while terminus is trying to get the point, like everybody else should. I think we're gonna get flanked here. I see somebody right behind us. I think. Let's see if we can finish it up, BK. Yep, there's one here. It's there, Imani. See if we can get the Terminus to point at least. Nice, we did. Fake healing on him. We have Ghost Walk soon. We'll have Totem in 5 for him. Oh, please. My Ghost Walk didn't cancel. And I threw it too far. It was supposed to go on the stairs. I wish I had some sort of self-sustain right now. Oh my goodness, that was too close. Maybe I can look into a build with a right-click self-sustain. That might be a thing. Hmm, I'll have to think about that. Right after this game, I might do another another video on Grok soon with a uh, different build. But for now, I don't know why I put that down. Just to stop poke. That was kind of a weird totem, to be real. Alright, we have Vault here. Let's sit under. If we start taking damage, we see our team take damage. Let's get this totem on the stairs assault now. See, Lan took a little bit of damage. Try to get her topped off. Have the Terminus slowed. We don't know if he has ult. He does have ult. I don't want to have to use my Ghost Walk here. Oh, we weren't able to save Leanne. Maze behind us. Terminus is topped off. Not sure where she went, to be real. Nice. Oh, she dropped into it. Nice. That's nice. Monty's low. Stop off Dredge a little bit. Let's make sure Dredge stays alive first to Firmoth. Really good, really good shield from our term. Good route. Alright, we see we see Maeve flanking. Yep. We know for a fact Maeve is behind us. Come back, Terminus. Use that totem, buddy. Top off Imani. One thing with Grok, one thing I need to get better with since it's... Like, I haven't played Grok. I've played Grok a lot. I just said that wrong. I haven't played Grok Healer a lot with Spirit's Domain. Because I've never had a chance to. We know Maeve's still behind us. Especially based on where my team's positioning. But it's splitting that healing. Getting that totem on somebody and then right-clicking or autoing somebody else. Wait till he puts that down. 
get that totem on him. Let's top off our DPS. Okay, Termin went to main. That's kind of... I was hoping he'd top off off that totem. I think he did and then left, though. So that's fine. We're going to save our Ghost Walk. Just get our cooldown in time. Got the totem there for Leanne. Now right, we're going to use our own totem here. We're going to go ahead and ult this. Monty, come here. You're good. You're good, team. Nice. We got just away from that Grumpy Bomb. Nice. Perfect. So just using my ult for that. We actually use Leanne ult, too, but that's no big deal. Because we are going to go Kronos 2 into Morale Boost now. We'll have the Morale Boost for the, uh, for the point fight soon. Uh, we should have our ult by the end. But I think this game is a lot more representative of like what Grok can really do as a solo healer. Uh, the couple things, like I'm going to grind Grok out. I'm going to work on him. But a couple things I need to work on, and one thing is to be uh, self-aware about, is doing this. Terminus is low, Leanne's low. You know, I, I threw that a little bit too far, but you get the point. Throw the Termin throw the throw the totem and get the heal. Sometimes you need to know when somebody is gonna need the totem and the auto attack. Like if Terminus is one shot and I know he might die soon, and say he doesn't I know he doesn't have a lot of his shield left, I can go ahead and totem him with the shield left, he's out of caught, and then we auto him. It's that simple. Terminus on the left. I don't wanna go up there. You know, Maves there. Ah, no, we lost. We lost Terminus. Unlucky. Our team's our team is so far back. What is happening? Can I do this? I don't know. I can do that though. We're not gonna have the self-sustain we want. What? That was yellow. Please. Really good toad. A really good shield by him. Maze behind us. Let's go ahead and push forward. I was a step back a little bit. We know she's going back towards main. We have a dragon, though, so that made it a lot easier. Hello, dragon. Wait, what, what is happening here? Do you see this? Whoa. What is that? It, like, auto-locks under the dragon. Oh. Um, that was not the play. <laughs> that was not the play, buddy. See this auto-lock? I know I can't heal the dragon, but that is so weird. It just auto-locks under the dragon. I went ahead and ghost walk there. Make sure we stay alive. This terminus is gonna get so much healing here. Do they have a dragon? I think they do. Yep, there's the dragon. You got this terminus, just tank it! Tank the dragon! Ah! Go away, dragon! No, please! No dragon! No dragon, no! No! <laughs> I couldn't even get all charged. It just chased me around the corner. That dragon is so silly. Hi-Rez, nerf the dragon, please. The dragon has to be reduced the duration of it. It is it is so silly right now. That thing lasted way too long. Nothing should last that long, especially when it's that good. Go ahead and ghost walk this. We're going to go ahead and alt this, get our team out. I. So they're still in. Let's get up to this terminus. Get him that moving speed. Get the tone around the corner so we can fall back to it. We're pushing up, though. Nice. It's going to top us off. Put him up on term. Top off the dredge. Ooh, he's going to use the movement speed. Into the... Th Oof. Yeah, term is going to be fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, dredge. That, that, that didn't work, did it? And you dismount. Oh, he's using the right click to get to... I got you, Term. I'm just distracted. Let's think about toteming that. Term is pushing up main. We see the Saris. Saris is going to ult soon. I can just, like, see it in her face. Get the totem here for the team. What? Man! That is so annoying! Oh, we just actually might lose this because of the snow! We got the totem up. What was that? I forgot it automatically. Dredges control so hard with that auto teleporting. Oh my goodness. Oh, Monty's gonna walk into it. Oh no. Ah, oh, Dredge. Oh, thank God it's gone. It's nice, but like, it needs to be in a more secluded spot for it to be really good. We shouldn't be able to accidentally walk into it. We need to keep our land top to- Oh, Turbulence just missed it. Oh, rip. It's going back up. Get our team back. Heal them up as we come back. 
Good bounce there. I put the totem a little bit too far. I wanted around the corner. Didn't go fully around that corner. Terminus will be okay. Get the totem here on the corner. Top off Leanne. Dodge some Mave shots. I get this totem out for Dredge. Go around main. They can fight on that. Hopefully we kill Saris. This kills all their stacks. Nice. That's really good. Because she is running Soul Collector. We saw that at the beginning. So that ruins all of her stacks she's built up. So she starts at zero. So she's going to be a lot less tanky at this point. Let's go ahead and get Morale 2. And I'm thinking about a Nimble 1. I think Haven's the play for sure. Haven is the play. I really want Nimble, but I'm going to get Haven. We'll see from here, though. Chronos 2 and the morale boost 2, I think, though, is going to be, like, one of the main support things. Like, I just think this is really good. I I really love this card choice, these card choices. Um, can we... I wonder how this works. That was weird. Let's go ahead and get the dance on. So, they're going to have ults. I was thinking about getting Rezzy because they have a lot of stuns, but... We're not really getting stunned and we have the ghost walk and we're being self-aware of it. Honestly, thinking about it, Rezzy was the play because of Mabel. Those bombs look like they're going so much further than they are. Yeah, we have our dragon. No. Miss Amani. Just, uh, we know the Mave's behind looking for our Amani. I think Leanne's on the Mave. We need to make sure Amani stays alive, honestly. We need the dragon more than anything. Ah, uh, let's go ahead and get to Terminus. We can kite backwards. I was going to try to keep our dragon alive. Oh, he is still alive. No! That's caught. That's that's unlucky. Die, Maeve. Let's go ahead and get on the point here. Hopefully kill that Saris. Nice. Big slows. Perfect. Uh, I don't think we can finish this and it's not worth overextending for. Had a really good alt, saved our Terminus. Terminus is going to be coming through the right or main. If not, Maeve's on point, okay. Maeve's on the right. She might touch again. Nice, we got her. Let's get the totem on point. Oh, let's try to save our Armani. Hit him with the Neo. Ooh, just in time. GG's. Well played. What a good game that was, honestly. Um, I think that that actually showcased more of what Grok can do. Oh, and the play of the game. Was it that final ult? It, it had to have been this final ult. Because I really didn't do anything else impressive. Yep, that was it right there. We see the we see the <laughs> Terminus is in trouble. And we go in for him. We saw the BK go back that way. We were going to go under to try to see if he was under there to try to mess with him, but he fell back to like our spawn, so GG's. GG's well played. But let's look at this real quick. 25k damage, not bad, especially when you're using your auto attacks as healing. 129k damage hits my quota of a 10k per minute for a good healer. Um, Grok, it really worked well. Um, really had nothing else to say. Oh. I was trying my best. I couldn't unbuck her. Oh, Amani has that... Oh my goodness, I think Amani has that bug where she can't hit sometimes. That that sucks. That's unlucky for that team. I am so sorry for the other team. But GG's anyway. But Grok, we hit the quota of the healing, you know. That's something I look for in every healer. If I can for sure hit that, I know they're going to be a good healer. And I didn't play the best those two games. So I think Grok's going to be a really good healer. And I cannot wait to get this tier list out for you guys. I don't know when I'm going to get it out. It might take a little bit because I'm waiting on a few things. But it's going to come out soon. But next few days, we're going to get some commentaries on the new supports and their changes. So be on the lookout for that. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I also hope you enjoy your day, night, evening, dawn, dusk, or whatever it is where you live. And I will see you in the next one. Later.